morning, Storytime friends. Do you like to watch birds? Today's story is about a boy who liked to watch birds so much that he wanted to draw one. It's called How to, How to Paint the Portrait of a Bird um, by Jacques Prevert, and the translation and the illustrations are by Mordecai Gerst Gerstein. And um, to me, it looks like a bluebird, and right behind me is a bluebird box and you might be able to make one of those at home. Here's the boy asleep with his window open. Now it's morning. He gets his easel so he can paint. First, paint a cage with an open door. Then, in the cage, paint something for the bird. Something useful and beautiful, but simple. Looks like there's some bird seed in there, too. Then, take the picture to, the, to a garden. Or a park. Or a forest. That bird is falling too. Put the picture under a tree. Hide behind the tree. Don't speak. Don't move. Sometimes the bird comes quickly, but it can just as well take years before deciding. If the bird doesn't come right away, don't be discouraged. Wait. Even if it's winter. Wait years if necessary. doesn't mean that your picture won't be good. When the bird comes, if it comes, remain absolutely silent. Wait till the bird enters the cage. Close the door with your brush. Then erase the cage one bar at a time, being very careful of the bird's feathers. Now paint the portrait of the tree. with the prettiest branch for the bird. Paint the green leaves and the summer breeze. Paint the smell of the sunshine and the flowers and the songs of the bees and the butterflies. Then wait for the bird to sing. If it doesn't sing, don't be sad. You did your best.
But if the bird sings, it's a very good sign. It's a sign that you can sign. So then very gently take a feather from the bird and write your name in a corner of the picture. He's got the portrait back in his room. He's putting it on the wall. Left the window open. Tomorrow you can paint another one.